and welcome back to Korea.net Star Live, your favorite weekly live show. I'm your host, DJ Hannah, and let me say I'm super excited for today's amazing guests here with us. Today, we have with us a, a real-life couple. Uh, with their YouTube channel, Koreanissima Elena, they've proven that a language barrier, nationality, age difference can all be overcome with love. I smell love in the air. Let's give a warm welcome to Elena and her fiancé, Carlos. Hello! Bonjour! Uh, bon dia or boa noite in Brazil. And hi guys, I'm Elena. And my Korean name is Hewon Ku. And I run a YouTube channel called Koreanissima with my boyfriend or future fiancé, Carlos. <laughs> um, uh, boa noite, bom dia aqui na Coreia, boa noite no Brasil. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Carlos from Brazil. Uh, I've been Korea for 12 years already. I've done many things and now I'm here with uh, Elena, my fiance. girlfriend, future fiancé. <laughs> Noiva. Noiva, future <laughs> wife. Um, yeah, let's talk about uh, Koreanissima, YouTube and life in Korea in general. Welcome but, to the show! Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is our very first time having a real couple on the show, so uh, <laughs> we have a lot of you know fun uh, corners to work through today, and um, I think a lot of our Korean viewers are probably familiar with Carlos a little bit. Um, if you've you know seen him on TV, uh, where have we seen you, Carlos? Uh, well, I've being on Korean TV for more than five years, from time to time I do shows, but probably the most famous show was Abnormal Summit mm -hmm. at J JTBC, mm -hmm. and I was there for one year. Yes, I was there for one year representing Brazil, debating. Mm -hmm. It was a very good experience, and uh, it opened me many doors. It was mm -hmm. great. So yeah, we have with us today a Brazilian who is famous in Korea, and then a Korean who is <laughs> super famous in Brazil. <laughs> What a couple. Okay. <laughs> so uh, every episode, uh, we decide um, on a present to give our guests. Ooh. And um, honestly, you know, we, we thought long and hard what to give these two lovebirds as a gift <laughs> <laughs> for our show. Um, but it wouldn't be uh, fun if I just gave it away. So I'm going to ask our viewers, um, what do you think we got as a gift for Carlos and Elena? Um, I'll give you roughly five minutes or so um, to figure out what we got as a gift for the two. Um, in the meantime, uh, I want to know how the two of you met. Elena, how did you guys meet? Como é que a gente se conheceu? Então, como a gente se conheceu? <laughs> uh, when I was 22. Wow, so 22. <laughs> <laughs> 22, yeah. And he was like I 20 was 28, eight, almost 29. And, uh, and I went to an event of a Brazilian culture mm -hmm. and I met him there. He was an uh, organizer, how can I say? Uh, he I was, was a host. Okay. And, and I was a participant, At the college event, yeah. student. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you can yeah. you explain more? Yeah. Uh, well, you, you had just. You returned from Brazil recently yeah. at that time. Oh, I see. And, yeah, and she wanted to practice Portuguese. Yeah, because so I don't want to forget Portuguese that I learned in there. Mm -hmm. so. in the, it's, it's actually very hard to find places and opportunities here in Korea to practice Portuguese. It's mm -hmm. not a widely spoken language here. Mm -hmm. um, and then she came to this event. Yeah, it was, was a work thing. It was working. <laughs> Uh, she was there, and it wasn't just a one-time meeting. Like we had a series of meetings okay. over time, okay. and we got closer. Okay. Um, we became friends, okay. and eventually we started dating. Okay. Yeah. Oh. But it took some time. Yeah. It wasn't <laughs> like the first day I went there. No, it was it was very natural. For yeah, it took so <laughs> long time, like six months to like yeah, to get to know each other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean. I was, I'm, I'm a little bit older than you, so if I yeah. go like straightforward and say like straight what I want, it, it's not like that. Okay. I, I prefer to go slowly. Okay, yeah. so it was and natural but slow and steady. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it, it worked as well. always the best way, I think. <laughs> yeah? Okay, well, um, we'll find out a lot more about this love story um, <laughs> throughout the episode. 
Right now, let's see if any of our viewers guessed um, what gift I got for the two of you. Um, so remember, uh, you guys, um, any, of the, any of you who uh, leave comments in our live chat, um, stand a chance to win uh, $30 Amazon gift cards. And so, yeah, feel free to participate throughout the show. And um, yeah, we will be giving them out um, freely. Let's see. Damn. Ruthie says a welcoming basket. Did you guys see anything that catches your eye? Uh, uh, I don't see it. Adivinhar o presente. They're guessing the gift, right? That we're going to get. But we also have gifts from there for them. What what is it? The Amazon coupon? Yeah, it's Amazon great. Gift, I mean, Amazon gift Thirty dollars. Wow, yes. that's almost um, 200 reais. It's a yeah. lot of money. <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't seem like any of our viewers got um, the correct answer. So I'm just going to tell you uh, <laughs> what we got. Um, oh. So I heard in Brazil um, there's a drink called cafezinho. Cafezinho. Oh, coffee. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you serve this. Um, it's a sign of hospitality, I hear, ah. in um, Brazil. And so um, when you have this drink, it's a moment to connect and uh, to chat. Oh yeah. And to share stories. Brazilians love to get mm -hmm. together and talk over coffee, mm -hmm. right? Is it very different from coffee in Korea? Uh, I think Brazilian coffee is more. How can I say? More dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we talk about coffee in, mm -hmm. in our channel. And uh, it's always a topic that we go over because I make coffee every day for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, cafezinho I heard is a little darker in Brazil. How is it? Yeah, um, uh, there's a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a very Sorry. diluted version of cafezinho, but anyway. <laughs> uh, 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 I hope, yeah, I hope to talk about um, yeah a lot of interesting things with you um, throughout the show with our little cafe. Yeah, yeah, cafe cheers. Cafe cheers. Cheers. <laughs> hey, while we drink our cups of coffee, why don't we watch um, a highlight reel um, of Koreanissima Elena's videos from YouTube? Yes. All right, let's go. Mm. Vamos. Trailer. Oi, gente, tudo bem? Número um. A liberdade de rir. Sorrir. Mas quando eu estava no Brasil, todo mundo me chamava de caricatura. Então, caricatura, saiu na lá. Lara, I inspired yeah, by Macau. G Dragon. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Macau. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I, was, I the was first video. Looking through uh, your YouTube videos at home, and just yeah, you can tell just how much um, in love you guys are. <laughs> Especially the spin-off channel where the two of you yeah. um, are on the channel. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a good example of um, what an intercultural, interracial mm. couple looks like. Um, and so, yes, in this next corner, we wanted to talk a little bit about um, some of the barriers that maybe you guys had to overcome as um, an international couple here in Korea. Now, I imagine um, language was the first barrier, maybe? Um, uh, yeah, we drama. It, it's uh, very different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But first time I met him, he can speak Korean very well. Okay. So the only problem is my Portuguese. <laughs> oh, okay. But uh, when you meet someone in Korean, mm -hmm. um, 
people are very formal, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a language where you have to be very formal. And she was speaking, she was talking to me in Chiang de Mai, in mm -hmm. formal Korean, mm -hmm. for what, six months? For a long time. Yeah, and Carlos, she. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, she. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I Did felt that. Did call you Elena, she? Or? No, not <laughs> anyway, important. So we use it a lot more Portuguese than Korean because I, okay. I, I, I felt that she was way more comfortable talking to me in Portuguese. Oh, right? yeah. But the problem is like he's talking right now. Ah, you need to respect more. Like, uh. Please call me Opa like that. <laughs> Do you call him Opa? No, uh. <laughs> just Carlos. I was, I was never Opa. <laughs> she never called me Opa. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah, I think for you, this relationship was probably very instrumental in leveling up your Portuguese, right? Yeah, so since we started dating, my Portuguese really improved. Way mm -hmm. better. And my <laughs> Korean too, my Korean is better too, huh. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> Boa professora. Uh, yeah. Boa professora. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's it's amazing because right now, Elena, you have over eight hundred and ninety thousand subscribers on yeah, your channel. Actually, actually, we just passed nine hundred thousand. Oh wow, yeah. nine hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh my god. Thanks gosh. to and all um, the guys obrigado. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting is um, a lot of your videos are in Portuguese. Yeah. And so I was wondering, like. What, what's it like having so many fans from South America, mm -hmm. being based in Korea, being a Korean? Yeah, what, what, what is that like? Uh, um, how can I say? It's, it's because French, of Hairyu, no? right? <laughs> Korean way. Yeah. Uh, and I think the people really like I speak Portuguese. Like, oh, this, the Koreans speak Portuguese. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was a little bit of my experience in Korean because speaking Korean to Koreans is very different than speaking English. Mm -hmm. I felt like I got way closer to people when I spoke in their language. Mm -hmm. And I think she was a little bit inspired by that. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's focus on the language, let's get better, mm -hmm. and let's try to communicate and get closer to Brazilians mm -hmm. who are on the other side of the world, but they're still very interested in Korea, mm -hmm. in, in way more actually. In mm -hmm. the past four years since this, we started yeah. the channel. I think I can say yeah, I've inspired he's in Pijong mm -hmm. Sanghedam. He got lots show. of fans and they say, oh, you can speak Korean, that's nice. So, hey, I can speak Portuguese. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look, she's she's still <laughs> still so you guys talk in Portuguese on a daily basis? Uh, depends. Uh, it's a mix. Uh. Uh, it's really a mix. Okay. But um, I heard, Elena, for you, there are still some words that you have difficulty pronouncing. Yeah, definitely some words are really difficult to pronounce, mm -hmm. so... Which I have written oh. down. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are the chances? Um, so, yeah, these are... Well, what do these mean? Could you read them out for us, Elena, maybe, first? Okay, I will try. Gente, I will Portuguese is very difficult for me. Inintelligível. Inintelligível. Paralelepipido. <laughs> Coro. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Inconstitucionalissimamente. Otorrinolalingolira. <laughs> Desconstitucionalização. Idiosinalizia. <laughs> Velo. Similhança. Procrat. Tina, cabelo lele lelo. Que vergonha. Really long. Yeah. yeah. Which which one's the hardest for you out of? Acho que mm, inconstitucionalissimamente. <laughs> That's really, really difficult. Yeah. That's a famous word <laughs> for, for being difficult in Portuguese. Ooh. So what does it mean? Uh, unconstitutionally. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a it, it's a, a legal term. Okay. We don't use it on a daily basis, <laughs> never. Okay. A gente nunca usa essa palavra. Carlos, could you read it for us? All of oh. them? Oh, well, just the inconstitucionalissimamente. Uh, inconstitucionalissimamente. <laughs> oh. Mais uma vez? Inconstitucionalissimamente. Oh. What about the next two, the long ones? Otorrindo... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Otorrindo laringologia. Oh. Otorrindo laringologia. Uh, Ibi inuqua. Uh, Ibi inuqua. Yeah. The hospital you go for... 
Uh, ear knows an idol. Yeah, yeah uh, okay. exactly. Which is very easy in English and Korean, uh -huh. but in Portuguese. But imagine it's you this need word. to go to this hospital. <laughs> I want to go auto holidays. Yeah, that's too hard. Uh, your throat. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can't even pronounce the word because uh, that's the first test you have to go through. Well, what about the next one? Yes. Uh, desconstitucionalização. Uh, this is also a legal term. Where did you get these words from? <laughs> we don't use this. This is a legal term. Yeah. The, the, the following ones we use from time to time. Idiosincrasia, verosimilhança. Verosimilhança is... It's hard to explain, but um, we use it on... If you have a drama mm -hmm. that it's very s similar to real life, so oh. how similar is the story from real life? Real life. Uh -huh. yeah, that's very uh -huh. yeah. yeah. wow. And the, 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 the last one is funny because this should be an easy word. Got the third it. one and the last one actually. Let's, mm -hmm. let's have a look at the third one. Oh -huh. Oh -huh. Yeah. Oh -huh. uh, it means horror, horror? in uh. English, but I always say it's horror. <laughs> Horo in J to yeah. Portuguese. Maybe. She has a hard time with the R. Yeah. Is it like the French R's? Is it's it like very similar. Horror? That's actually horror? my accent. In oh. my region in Brazil, we use that R. In other regions, you have other R's. Oh, I see. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's very hard for Christians. And <laughs> in Portuguese, they don't speak H. Okay. They don't pronounce H, so okay. it's like oh Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what a horror! <laughs> what a horror! horror. What a oh, <laughs> um, But I heard a lot of your fans like the fact that you struggle to pronounce certain words. Like they, they find that endearing. I yeah, guess. I, actually, I think they like my oral pronunci pronunciation. So I got lots of comments. Like they say, don't try change. Your pronunciation. So don't get better. Yeah. <laughs> don't study. Uh, don't practice. <laughs> which is impossible for her because she's very. Is she always studying? Uh, yeah, she's competitive from time to time. Oh, speaking of being competitive, yeah. uh, this brings me to my next corner. So um, we put Elena through, you know, the hard pronunciation mm -hmm. test. Um, I'm going to now put both of you through a test of a, a, through a game of tongue twister. Tongue twister. Yeah. Do you know any tongue twisters in Korean? 간장 공장 공장장. 아, 간장 공장 공장장은 강 공장장이고 된장 공장 공장장은 강 공장장이다. Very good. Now Carlos. 간장 공장. Ah, that's very hard. 간장 공장. Is it written anywhere? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We have a tongue twister prepared for you guys in Portuguese. Oh, oh. trava língua. Yeah, turned into a kind of game. Trava so, língua. Yes. So I want to ask our viewers, who do you think will win? Mm -hmm. Will Elena prevail as the winner, or will Carlos, the native speaker, win this game of tongue twister? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So um, you guys uh, have a guess at who's going to win, and maybe tell us why. Mm -hmm. Why do you think Elena will win? Why do you think Carlos will win? And um, whoever guesses the right um, winner will mm -hmm. get the special Amazon gift card. Okay. okay. So here are mm -hmm. your tongue twisters. Now, the rule of the game is this. I will set a timer, mm -hmm. and whoever can complete the three tongue twisters three. faster okay. uh, will win this game. Who wants to go first? Elena! <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Carlos, no, no, practice yeah, it, so turn it off. Okay, 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 I won't look at it. Genshin metaphors. Okay, I'll count down. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Tres tigres tristes comeram um prato de tigre. O peito do pé do Pedro é preto. O rato roeu a roupa do rei de Roma, o rei de raiva roeu o resto. Oh. 15 seconds. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, Elena. Uh, Next up. It's my turn? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Três tigres tristes comeram um prato de trigo. O peito do pé do Pedro é preto. O rato roeu a roupa do rei de Roma. O rei de raiva roeu o resto. 11 seconds, wow. 22. <laughs> but he's native, right? Uh, yes, yeah, that's well, true. 
It's it's very hard. Um, <laughs> tongue twisters in, in foreign languages are very yeah, very hard. Familiar, especially the last one, the one with the R's. Yeah. Orato, what does this mean? Orato, oh. The the red it the chew chew. Oh, it says right here. The closes of Rome's king. A rat gnawed on Roman king's robes, and the angry king gnawed on the rest. Uh, that's oh. even harder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the the, the the first one about the three tigers, mm -hmm. that's a common one in, in Portuguese and also in Spanish. I saw some comments mm. saying that they had in Spanish as well. Mm. Muy bien, tres tigres tristes comieron un prato de trigo. <laughs> Yeah, it's very hard. You're playing with the R and the T. Mm. It's very hard. Should we look through the comments? Um, okay. Since Carlos, you won, uh, why don't you pick for us um, the winner of the Amazon gift card? Who guessed Carlos would win? Who guessed Carlos? Mm. So you yeah, can write I, it on the whiteboard I, and hold it up. Yeah. Mm. I think people are saying, oh, it's not fair because Carlos is a native speaker. Let me try the one in Korean. Ah. I think that would be, yeah, maybe we can try. But you need to pick someone. Who yeah. The I have part. to pick one. Yeah. yeah. If you could okay. pick somebody who okay. guessed I want, you, I want, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Eli pergunto, quien você acha que vai ganhar? Mas tem pouca gente que você vai. Ah, Tami. Tami so. Tami so. Tami so. Cool. Yeah. Tami. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is it this one? Uh huh. Oh, he'll write it down. Tami so. What, what did Tami so say? Carlos. Because he's a native. <laughs> Tami so. Congratulations, Tami. Okay. Congratulations, Tami so, on getting Carlos correct. Okay. Um, Let's move on um, to our next corner. Um, we've had, you know, a fierce round of competition. Okay. Uh, in this game, uh, we're going to test um, how well you guys connect as a couple. Okay. It's a game we like to call Love's Telepathy. Okay. Mm. So. <laughs> okay. So please uh, connect your brain waves um, ahead of this game. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to call out two choices, um, and you guys have to call out which one you prefer. Okay. Okay. So, okay. number one, bikini or one-piece swimsuit? One, two, three. Bikini. bikini. <laughs> oh, why is that? <laughs> because Brazil is really famous of uh, bikini. For bikini. Yeah. yeah. That is yeah. very true. And the yeah. beaches are yeah. yeah. really beautiful. Mm. Yeah, we love to be outdoors. Uh -huh. yeah. Brazil, Brazil é mais linda yeah. do mundo. And the e, e, nature is beautiful in Brazil yeah. and, and beaches, of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, number two, kiss or hug? One, two, three. Kiss. kiss. <laughs> wow. In Brazil, we kiss when we meet someone. Oh yeah, yeah? how and many times? Nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, it depends on the region. It's oh. very confusing. <laughs> how many in your region? Uh, in my hometown, we kiss twice. Ah. Always oh, twice, okay. but. If you go like three hours away, then it's one. And if you go further south, it could be up to three. But it's a problem when I meet someone from other region. region. Like they try to kiss twice, but, and then third, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Can have an accident. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, number three, diamond ring or handwritten letter? Three, two, one. Diamond ring. Diamond ring. <laughs> <laughs> But Carlos wants to write the letter. But it's diamond. <laughs> it's diamond. Price is not important. It's the meaning. Ah. It's the words you use. É o que você escreve, é o que você quer dizer. Não é o preço. Mas gente, isso é diamond. <laughs> you could give both a ring and a letter. Uh, That's right. I'll, I'll think about uh, it. <laughs> Solomon here. <laughs> okay, number four. Going on a hike or strolling on the beach. Three, two, one. Beach. beach. Ah, so you guys obviously yeah, yeah love the beach. Yeah. I, I like hiking, but she doesn't, so. Ah, yeah. so this yeah. is about the compromise. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, five, wedding dress and tuxedo or humble? 
Three, two, one. Wedding dress. Uh, Carlos. Carlos. Tuxedo or hanbok? Uh. Hanbok. Hanbok? Uh, uh, hanbok. Wedding what dress. What are we going to do? <laughs> it's okay. You wear a wedding dress. I wear a book. <laughs> you you come into my culture. I go into your culture. You see, it's a change. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. okay. Next, iced americano or hot americano? Three, two, one. Hot ice. americano. <laughs> um, ice versus hot. Yeah. I heard in Brazil you guys don't really drink iced. Never. Americano. It's uh -huh. really weird. I, my mom came in Korea mm -hmm. and uh, sh she found it disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm okay with it, but okay. it's very when, different. When I drink yeah. iced coffee, she thinks it's Coke. Oh. It's, uh, it's Coke, yeah, yeah. yeah Coca-Cola. Oh. Yeah, it's Coca-Cola. Oh. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay, next question. Um, cute or sexy? Three, two, one. Cute. Cute. Oh. Yeah. Delayed. No, no, but she, I think she would choose sexy. You changed. Oh. No? Oh. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> okay. Um, next one. Samba or Korean traditional dance? Three, two, one. Samba. samba. I do love samba. Yeah. Yeah. And samba. salsa. Do you guys samba. dance? Uh, I actually no. <laughs> Uh, you can't do everything. <laughs> no, I can't. Actually, dance. he did samba in Pijong Song Hetam. Many times. Uh, many times, <laughs> but you guys don't know because everything was just cutting. Ah, yeah, well, because <laughs> for the viewers' safety and health, it's better not to see that. Okay. <laughs> okay, and final one trot or ballad? Three, ah, two, one. Trot. Trot. Oh, yes? Uh, yeah. Oh, you guys both like trot? Yeah, trot. Trot is nice. Oh. It's really cool. Carlos, can you explain for our viewers, what is trot? Okay. Maybe. Trot, um, it's, uh, it's, it's a very popular genre, uh, genre in Korea. It's a style of music. Um, and it's something that put, make people like excited when they are together, when they meet someone, mm -hmm. when you want to make a bunigi. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. like, create a, a, a good environment, then you play or you sing trot. Mm. Yeah. So I think, Carlos, rather than explaining it to us in words, it would be better if you could sing ah. <laughs> um, to give us an idea of what trot is. Okay. Can you take the mic? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So I prepared something very simple. Yes. Uh, so say by cantar. Elena did yeah. not know about this. Yeah. I'm not so a singer. Eu não sou um cantor, por favor. <laughs> Forgive me. It's just... It should be fun. Let's try it. Okay. Okay. All right. But um, actually, when you play or when you sing trot, you can't just be dressed like this. You need something oh. shiny. Sparkle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah sparkling. Do Negócio you have bem anything extravagante. sparkly here? Yeah, I prepared something. Really? You helped me <laughs> and I brought something. Yeah, let me try. Okay. Oh, what a surprise. It's oh my sparkly. gosh! <laughs> <laughs> que isso, gente? Oh my gosh. Watch out, your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you, you should wear your sunglasses. <laughs> Mr. Trot. Mr. Yeah. Trot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trot, okay, let's do it. So, Carlos, what song will you be singing for us today? Um, I'll sing a song that it's very useful for learning Korean, and that's actually one of the first songs that I learned in Korean. It's called Horan Nabi. Oh. But uh, yeah, it's the tiger butterfly, a borboleta com padrão de chigre, né, nas costas. Okay. But um, I changed the lyrics a little bit so it could be oh. more romantic. It's, it's not a romantic oh. song, I feel like but I made like it romantic. Create some room. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Ready, Carlos. okay, let's try. Okay. Uh, you also need the mic. I have a Shady special mic. mic. How do you turn it on? Is it on? Mm. It's already on. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, okay, okay. Cha, DJ, Soka. Que vergonha. Oh, <laughs> 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 
It's a song about a, a butterfly that it's in the flower, but I want to give it to her one. Eu quero dar flor de presente para ela. But she's afraid of insects. Okay. And then I need, I ask the butterfly, uh, come on butterfly, borboleta, you have to go away. Because I need to give the flower to her. Oh, so <laughs> Okay, so oh. florzinha. <laughs> Um, in our live chat, they were cheering you on. Oh, they thank are you crying. so much. Muito obrigado. Uh, as coisas que a Coreia faz, yeah, você faz. Yeah, so much love in the air today. Um, Elena, any words about the event? Um, are you really surprised? Oh, humility. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But isn't it too aze? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, but he rewrote the lyrics. Oh, okay. I re you know. That's so sweet. Because yeah. I'm worried about you. You're afraid of insects. Yeah. Você não gosta de insetos. Você tem medo deles. Then I ask the butterfly to get away from the flower. Obrigada. So that I can leave that. Obrigada. <laughs> Muito obrigada. Would you like more coffee? Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Very thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Okay, um, let's uh, move on then um, to talk a little more about Korea and Brazil and yep. how the cultures differ. Um, let's talk about, um, what, what should we talk about first, Korean culture or Brazilian? Um, for you callers, um, when you first got to Korea, um, were there cultural differences that you found shocking at first? Yeah, um, well, Korea and Brazil, we are on the opposite side of the world, mm -hmm. and the culture is basically the opposite as well. <laughs> uh, so, first thing was, when I told my parents that I was coming to Korea, uh, my parents were really, really, really worried. My parents and my sisters, um, they thought that I was coming to a very dangerous place, that a country that was under war. Mm -hmm. uh, that was 12 years ago, and still many Brazilians didn't know about Korea at that time. Uh, so, yeah, we, we didn't know much, actually, um, and they, they, they cried a lot, my, my mom and my sisters, oh my god, they cried so much <laughs> when I left for, for the airport to come to Korea. Um, of course, now things have changed, and they learned to love Korea, they came here last year, my parents, and they, they want to come back again, um, they are really interested mm -hmm. in, in it. Um, even though the culture is very different, the lifestyle is different, We still have some things that are similar, like yeah. the food. The food is, uh -huh. we have things that are similar. We, we have very diverse dishes in Brazil mm -hmm. and in Korea as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, some things are basically the same, I would say. Mm. <laughs> well, what about for you, Elena? For you, um, were there things that um, you found surprising about Brazilian culture when you mm -hmm. lived there? Um, I can say the most difficult thing to understand was the culture of kiss. Uh. So when I met any kind of person, like friends, family, or whatever, I need to give a kiss. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, a popo. And hug. Yeah. <laughs> But for Korean, this kind of physical context is really, you know, mm. <laughs> it's, it's so um, unknown, it's so foreign to Korean culture that you use a foreign word for that, like you use skinship. Uh, skinship. Yeah, yeah, it's a English that Kong only... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> But you don't have a word in Korean for that, uh, the, that skinship, right? Mm -hmm. the, the physical contact. Mm -hmm. That it's very natural in Brazil. Mm -hmm. It's part of your daily life. Mm -hmm. But did, did you get used to the kissing after a while? You learn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But the first time, I always think, ah, oh, these guys are interested in me. <laughs> Because he's giving uh, a kiss. Uh -huh. <laughs> But yeah, yeah it was just yeah. high. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and like, what, what kinds of um, maybe preconceptions did you have about Brazil before you went there? Like, for many Koreans, uh, actually, mm, as the so, uh, oh, uh, people are. Wow. As pessoas, people think. People think. Perigoso. É, muito. Ah. Dangerous. Uh, 
it's wow. really dangerous. Wow, we're getting stuck between yeah. languages here. It's hard to change languages. É muito perigoso, muito um país muito perigoso. E sempre achava que ah, todo mundo namora na Amazon. Que every people live in Amazon. In the forest. Mm. Yeah, this kind mm. of preconceito. Misconceptions? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. But, people, you know, because Brazil is very far and it's very hard, hard to travel to Brazil. Mm -hmm. We don't get as many tourists as like any European country. Mm -hmm. uh, so people, mm, they have many stereotypes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's think, just yeah. Ste stereotype, but I think Korean people think, oh, Brazil, okay, energetic, samba. soul, yeah. samba, but dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> many guns. Yeah. <laughs> They, they've been, been watching Netflix not yeah, just the, too much. That's because of the movie. <laughs> yeah, they, they've been watching too many, too much TV. <laughs> but would you say, in fact, it's safe to travel through Brazil? Like, as a it's tourist? like all around the world. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. any place has uh, the Safer lugar is, dangerous. Yeah. Lugares perigosos, yeah. lugares yeah. seguros. You have to know where you're going to. I mean, if you prepare and if you have a good guide. Mm -hmm. uh, like Elena has, then, <laughs> then it should be fine. Uh, is the guide's name Carlos? Oh yeah, <laughs> I heard he's very good. Uh. Uh, okay, yeah, I mean, I think the two of you traveling through um, Brazil and traveling through Korea as well must be so full of adventures. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. It's a big country, there's a lot to see. A gente foi lá em dezembro, né? O que você gostou de ver? I like the most beach mm -hmm. and actually he drive a car through the seaside mm -hmm. yeah and it was really nice we went on a road trip uh, tr on the uh, at the brazilian nor northeast mm. and it's a very beautiful region with a different culture the yeah, food I was I amazing it's yeah it's just paradise yeah it was very it. very cool yeah. wow it's really beautiful yeah. and i can imagine you know being in that kind of environment to suddenly moving to seoul and you know the spidey body culture, <laughs> having to do things quickly—that uh, must be a big adjustment. Um, well, big cities are similar, mm -hmm. but uh, like Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo and Seoul—they have many things in similar. Mm -hmm. But I'm from the countryside, so for me, yes, it was a little bit, a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Elena, is it true that a lot of Brazilians think of Korea, or I guess Seoul in particular, as a kind of Disneyland? Is this true? Yeah, I think for young people in Brazil, they think Korea as Disneyland, like the land of dream and love. And <laughs> <laughs> because of the training, idol trainees, mm. they really train hard mm -hmm. since they are very since young. Since they're very young. And I think that it's kind of inspiring young people all around, around the world, even Brazil. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I can do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or I want to do it in Korea. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can make it. I I'll can, be famous. Uh, I can be famous too mm -hmm. if I work hard, if I train mm -hmm. hard. So it's very, it's very inspiring for for Brazilians who are there and mm -hmm. who like the music, who like the culture, and they want to come here and, mm -hmm. and try try it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of idols, um, while you were singing, Carlos, earlier, people were saying that you should debut. <laughs> 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 Carlos should be an idol if I think he was, I'm, uh, you know, really digging the, the outfit. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, since Carlos has had his chance being a kind of idol today, mm -hmm. why don't we give Elena some spotlight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we are curious, what kind of songs have you been listening to, Elena? And ah. um, what would you like to introduce to your South American listeners? Um, so I picked some... <coughs> Music that I like, mm -hmm. and I translate in Portuguese. Oh wow! Okay. So I'm not sure I can sing this song in Portuguese, but I will try. Okay. <laughs> Do um, my best. So we have our playlist here. Which song would you like to sing for us first? Okay, the first song is Blackpink. Ooh. How you like that? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Again. Okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, I need to. Ellen, I, I have an idea. Can okay. we use that mic? Yeah. It might help. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I need the time to prepare to sing in yeah. Portuguese. Right. <laughs> and we just fast. I saw a friend. 
Fundo, fundo, passo ainda mais fundo Vai me agarrar a sua vez Com as suas mãos dentro de alcançar E de novo na escuridão brilha o céu Em seus olhos eu olho e vejo de tchau Ria de mim enquanto ainda dá Agora é você, um, dois, vá How, how you like that? <risos> que vergonha! Uau, muito bom! That was really good. Muito bom! Uhul! Do you need to take a break? Tchau, tchau, tchau. Ok, mais. Mais. Okay. ok. Next song. Next song. Próxima música. It sounds really nice, by the way. Twice more and more. Twice more and more. Ah, já começou? It's always Calma. ready. Calma, okay. DJ. Okay. Take it easy. Okay, Take it you easy. give the cue sign and then we'll start. Okay. Uh, just tell me three, two, one. Okay, three, okay. two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. Você is mais, 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 e mais. Não vos para mais, 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 e mais. Is mais uma vez, eu quero ter mais. Acho que foi que mais uma vez? Eu acho que... Uh, I think I start in wrong... In the middle? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> sorry. Karaoke. Tá chambo. Can I just say, I think you need to debut as well, because as soon as you started singing... Yeah, they, they love the, it. Yeah, the comments were like... <laughs> going crazy. Yeah. Do you well, want can I sing just without the uh, MR? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, dois, três. Você me diz mais, 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 mais e mais Não posso parar mais, mais, mais e mais Isso mais uma vez, eu quero ter mais, 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 mais e mais Não quero parar mais, mais, mais e mais Isso mais uma vez Aê! Do you want to try one more? Oh, tchau, <laughs> tchau Should we move on? Um, okay, I will try for my subscribers <laughs> because it's the time they can mm, hard Portuguese, right? Uh, yeah, uh, they're, they're really loving it. Um, Sabrina Guantai says this version is so catchy. Everyone's <coughs> in love with her I voice. I love her voice. Yeah, so <laughs> let's hear the final song. What is it called? Linda. Mm. Will you do it with the MR or without? Uh, Without am I? Oh. Without? Okay. <coughs> okay, okay, whenever you're ready. Right, okay. mm. Gente, última música. <coughs> essa, essa é uma música nova, né? É. É, ela até postou no, no Instagram, foi? Yeah. Outro dia. Because She's, the title yeah. Linda means beauty in Portuguese. Mm. So, Linda. Five, three, two, one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. People are so excited, they're honking outside. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, okay, yeah, well, let's I don't know. Ani, three, two, one. Uh, três, dois, um, vai. É dela que eu vou falar, linda, boa menina, yeah. Força faz segurar, linda, jamais parar, yeah. É dela que eu vou falar, linda boa menina, yeah. Força faz segurar, linda jamais parar, yeah. Wow. Ah! That was beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what, I, think, I think you sound better without the MR. Uh, oh, okay. Even, thank yeah. You. <laughs> so, wow, that, I learned something new today. Linda means beauty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, so a woman who's named Linda is basically named yeah. Beauty. Always pretty. Always pretty. <laughs> uh, I should have named Linda. Uh, no, you can change your name. How, how did you choose Elena? <laughs> so I just opened the book, uh -huh. the first lesson of Portuguese, uh -huh. and the professor said, oh, just pick your Portuguese name. Mm. So I think my Korean name is Hewa. Uh -huh. So I'll start with H. It's the same uh -huh. pronunciation, but actually in Portuguese, H doesn't pronounce it, <laughs> so it's not a Helena, it's Elena. Elena. Uh, yeah. But I like this name, but he said this name is a little bit old. Uh, old no, it's, it's a beautiful name. Okay, thank you. It's like a, a drama chewing-gong. Oh. It's the main character oh. of a drama yeah, in Brazil. Mm. 
Mm. It's, well, it's a beautiful name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've done all the singing. Um, Carlos, I heard uh, you featured on a song, on a K-pop song. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. 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 I was on G Idol's Senorita. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the senorita part, I was singing. Ah. Senorita. Yeah. Da, na, na, na. yeah. <laughs> so viewers, go when we're done with the show. Um, go and uh, listen to Carlos on that track. Senorita. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, speaking of you know um, going back, you know you choosing your name, Carlos coming to Korea for mm -hmm. the first time. I heard uh, since Carlos has been living here, he's undergone a bit of a transformation. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, back in the day when you were still picking your name and back in the day when Carlos was still new to Korea, let's take a look at uh, I, I was only the steady. old Carlos. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, are you guys ready for the grand reveal? Oh my god. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah. He was learning Korean for the first time. That was my very first Korean class. I wrote my name in Hungar for the first time. I was very focused on studying. I didn't have time for a haircut. Carlos. <laughs> you have a Carlos. very pretty, uh, you know, writing. Yeah, it's not like that anymore. <laughs> now, now here you are. Oh. So yeah. did, did you meet him? Back in the day here? <laughs> um, no, but I met him in the middle of so here. Yeah. Somewhere in the middle? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. That was more similar to that guy or to this guy. Ah. I wonder what the fans think of Have you ever shown the fans the, I think the so. before and after? Yeah. 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 I, have, I have that picture in my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think, yeah, you, you, you look great in both. <laughs> You're very kind. <laughs> was so no, no, no. I, I think this is a more like a Koreanized uh, version. Okay. Very Korean, yeah. yeah. Whereas, you know, I think people, depending on which country they go mm. to, they mm. kind of change. Mm. Like, Korean people doesn't like Baba. Yeah, uh, they don't oh, grow a beard. Yeah, 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 beard. Yeah. Yeah. They, they don't grow a beard. Okay. Yeah, so here is the before and after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We are kind of running out of time, but. Um, this next corner, uh, we want to talk about um, the cultural similarities mm. between Korea and Brazil. Yeah. And so we want to ask our viewers uh -huh. um, to share with us um, what you think uh, you would bring to Brazil from Korea or bring to Korea from Brazil and mm -hmm. vice versa. And we'll look through the comments in a bit. Um, but for now, since Carlos, you mentioned food yeah, being food. very similar between yeah. the two countries, why don't we look at some of these dishes? Oh. Um, so yeah, you guys will be getting married soon. So we we're curious. Do you guys have similar tastes in food? Yeah, and that's a very important thing. Yeah. Uh, it's. I mean, if you don't eat the same things, it's very hard. Yeah. Um, she loves coxinha. Coxinha is a, uh, like a snack from Brazil. Okay. Uh, and in Korea, we have kumandu. Actually, is it like a mandu? It, yeah, yeah, well. It's, it's much better than chiki mm. mandu. Yeah, kumandu. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. it's, it's a little bit different, it but still. It kind of looks like a samosa as well. Yeah, it also uh, looks like a samosa, but uh, the uh -huh. dough is different. The uh -huh. dough is a little bit thicker uh -huh. and very soft. Uh -huh. So it's not, it's not really crunchy. Uh -huh. I make coxinhas from time to time to her. Oh. Coxinha, it, it, it takes a lot of work. You need a lot of time to uh -huh. make coxinha. Uh -huh. But she, she, she loves coxinha. This is your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I make that. Uh, uh, okay. You love it? Oh. I love coxinha. Let's yeah. look at the next one. So on the left, on the left we have beuntang, which is uh. the oh. Korean fish stew. Mm. And then mokeka. mokeka. That looks very similar. And they are similar, actually. Mm. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons why I love meontang, mm -hmm. which means spicy, uma sopa picante de peixe mm -hmm. in Korean, it's because it's so similar to moqueca. It's but basically it's the same spicy, thing. Right? It's not spicy, right? Well, you can make it spicy if you really like. <laughs> we have different versions of moqueca, mm -hmm. but uh, still, it's, it's a fish soup. We put a lot of tomatoes, a lot of uh, different uh, seasonings, mm -hmm. and you can make with uh, shrimp if you want, you can mm -hmm. make with crab if you want, mm -hmm. you can make just with fish. Mm -hmm. 
but it's still very similar to meontan. If you come to Korea, ask for a non-spicy meontan, non uma meontan que não seja picante, and it's going to be basically like a moqueca. Mm. Okay, let's look at one more. There is soju in Korea <laughs> and cachaça, cachaça mm -hmm. in Brazil. Is it a similar? Um, yeah, well, they're both liquors. Uh -huh. uh, Cachaça Kash is made of sugar cane. Okay. It's kind of long. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah no, we, we also have the gold one. It's mm -hmm. more tasty. The white one is good for making cocktails and mm -hmm. the Brazil most famous cocktail, caipirinha. Mm -hmm. uh, we, don't, we don't normally drink it like straight. Mm -hmm. Koreans drink soju straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. very unique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, if you drink it very like fresh with ice, it's, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite food to eat with soju? Um, samgyeopsal? Samgyeopsal. A barriga do porco, né? I heard Three you layers also meat. eat um, hongo. Hongo, yeah, I love hongo. Which actually. is very surprising yeah. because a lot of Koreans have a hard time. Yeah. yeah. Well, Koreans from Seoul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, hongo is. Um, uh, it's a fish. I, I, it's very hard to explain, but it has a smell that's. It's really strong. It's like yeah. it has an ammonia yeah. smell. Yeah. It's, it's fermented. It's fermented, fermented skate. I fermented skate. Yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, I mean, it's really soft. Mm. Uh, mahaya, ne? what's the name of the, the fish? Skate. Skate? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so it's a skate, mm -hmm. mahaya. Uh, and yeah. you, you ferment it uh, mm -hmm. and it becomes very, very soft. It melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. But what about the smell? Um, that doesn't bother you? Yeah, well, in general, Korean food has many smells mm -hmm. and it, at first when you f come for the first time it's hard to get used to them mm -hmm. but once you get used to them you just learn to ignore the smells and enjoy the taste the mm -hmm. taste is very good mm -hmm. oh. i don't like it, don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay um oh wait, it sounds like you guys have like an overlap when it comes to food but then there's things that only carlos can eat because you sound like you know more of a Korean. Yeah. <laughs> so when we visit yeah. the restaurant, yeah. the the donor, the, the owner, owner say, yeah. "Oh, he's Korean." <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I I eat many things that she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Sanji Hejangkuk. Oh, Sanji Hejangkuk. Yeah. Tipo uma 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 sopa de chorizo. Sundaekook. I love sundaekook. Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> I I tell this to my friends who are like sundaekook, you know. You, you don't like Ajay, it? Ajay taste a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about Ajay? Yeah. <laughs> about the concept of yeah. being um, Ajay? Yeah. Chiuzão. Chiuzão. Oh, there's a Brazilian word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we have a word. Chiuzão yeah. means like Chiuzão. grand. Grandpa? It's an older man oh, with grand uh, uncle. <laughs> traditional, <laughs> yeah, um, traditional tastes. And wait, it's like Ajay. What is it? Jiu Zhang. Jiu Zhang. Oh, you're a Jiu Zhang. That's what she says. Uh, well, I, 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 I'm not from a big city. Um, okay. I have very simple tastes. I eat everything, basically. Okay. And I'm very curious about food. Okay. So I end up eating things that not many people eat. Uh -huh. And in Korea, it's very important because the food is so diverse. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And you get to meet new people um, through food. Yeah. In a lot of cases. Yeah. So. I mean, I can only taste Hong Wo and mm. this very special dis dishes while I am in Korea. Mm. I can have pizza, pasta, steak anywhere in the world. That's true. Yeah, why would I have that in Seoul? I'll try, mm. It's way better to try something that I can only find here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can only find Sonji Hejangku, a good uh, kind in Korea. Yeah, there's a good place yeah. in Chongno. Uh, <laughs> but there is no, bibimbap and bulgogi. <laughs> But bibimbap mm. is very simple. <laughs> I like bibimbap, but I don't know. I think there are so many dishes that are way richer mm. and way tastier, mm -hmm. and that people just don't know about them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, you guys have given me a very nice cue to mm -hmm. try our next game. Um, so you taught me the word for ade in, in yeah. Portuguese, right? Um, but there are a lot of words that you know the younger generation <laughs> uh, uses. <laughs> The older generation may not be familiar with. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is, um, Elena, you're oh. going to test oh, okay. Carlos on his knowledge of young per young person speak. É um teste de português. It's a Portuguese okay. test. Mm -hmm. And uh, the viewers watching, if you leave in the comments words that you think Carlos 
may not know. <laughs> uh, I probably will, won't know. <laughs> we will pick a few and give out our uh, Amazon gift card. Mm -hmm. So, can we start with the first question? The first question is biscoiteiro. Biscoiteiro? Yeah. Biscoiteiro. What is Biscoiteiro. Mm. So, biscoito uh, means Cookie. biscuit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> when I was living in Brazil, biscoiteiro was someone that makes biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> this, is makes not a, this is not the word for biscuit maker. Biscuit uh, maker, no. Yeah, but I, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I have well, to read the comments more often. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the correct answer? Uh, it's kind of a person who lie or do something extreme thing uh, in the SNS. To get the uh, like. Uh, so but in again, Korean, we say kwanjong. Kwanjong. Mm. Yeah, like you want attention. Um, so you do whatever you can to get the, the yeah. extra like. The person who does to call attention. Biscoitero. Uh, Biscoitero. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Thank let's, you. Let's, Learn the new, a new language. More. Okay. Mm. Uh, contatinho. Contatinho? Contatinho. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think I can ask. It's um, someone that you just met oh. and that you wanna you wanna keep in touch with. Oh. It's like a person. It's a oh. little contact. So it's not just a contact. Oh. You know, a contact is anyone, but a little contact, contatinho, mm -hmm. is someone that you care about. That you wanna talk about. Uh, when the message comes, better? you're gonna reply. Okay. Like, uh, very right similar. Away. Very close. Yeah. No. <laughs> So, can you explain? Okay, it's kind of relationship. It's not official, ah. thing, but they have potential. But they are not dating yet. Uh, no, I think it could be dating, but okay. it's not official. Okay. Because <laughs> in Brazil, so, yeah. <laughs> so in Korean, yeah. apparently, um, before you, you know, sakida, there's samgida. <laughs> uh, which, yeah, which I found very <laughs> shocking. But yes, that's what it means. The, the, when you are in the somnam, somnam. stage before yeah. you start officially dating, that's contatinho. 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 Okay. Yeah. One more. One Inio. more. Inio. Mm. Uh, shippar. Shippar. Uh, shippar. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> be careful, my yeah. shippar in Portuguese. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you have to be very careful with that pronunciation. Uh, yeah, in Korea, <laughs> very careful. What do you think this um, means? Uh, that's I know that one, but yeah. I, I I acknowledge that I learned that from our comments. There was a word that I had no idea what it meant, and I I, I googled it, <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I found out. So shippa, uh, it's nothing bad in Korean. Sorry, it's uh, it means you can you, you can translate it as kongamada. Like uh, you, you, you're cheering for someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're cheering for someone, but you also like them. Mm -hmm. Like you share the same mm -hmm. feeling. Mm -hmm. Especially like couple. If especially for couples, you're mm -hmm. cheering for the couple. So I ship our Elena and Carlos. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Not in Korean. In Korean, it's very different. <laughs> okay. Um, let's pick um, uh, a comment. Uh -huh. uh, who picked last time? Elena, maybe pick us um, a comment. Mm -hmm. It can be anything really, but I think most recently they've left us a lot of new words that mm -hmm. Carlos may not know. Oh. Or any comment that catches your eye. Okay. There are many comments that I don't yes. know. <laughs> if you go way up, there, were, there was a bunch. So why don't you each pick one? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eu vou escolher Juliana Navati. Carlos, você é biscoiteiro. <laughs> ai, ai, biscoiteiro. Não é, né? Yeah, that's why I, I, I brought my red suit and I sang the song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me let me see another one here. What did um Juliana say? Juliana. Yeah. What did she say? Você, uh, você. You are the biscuit maker. <laughs> <laughs> I think because of the clothes he. Oh. 
for a song. Okay. And Carlos, did you pick one? Um. All right. Let me see. Okay. So I'll pick Patrick. Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. because Patrick didn't know either. <laughs> 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 Let me write Patrick. So he's a uh, Ajay. <laughs> <laughs> From one Ajay to another. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're a lovely. <laughs> Patrick Dedeschi, you didn't know, I didn't know either. Okay. <laughs> a gente não sabia. Oh, I wish this could last forever, but um, we have run out of time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you so much for yeah being with us today. Obrigado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it obrigada? Uh, obrigada. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I hope you you know enjoyed the coffee we prepared. Um, thank you. I will definitely try. To it was a nice go. try. Yeah, <laughs> it was a nice try. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, I, I wish you guys all the best on preparing for your upcoming wedding. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I've become a real shippar <laughs> of, of the, the Elena Carlos couple. So. Thank yeah. you, Hannah. Yeah, okay. it was a pleasure. <laughs> so, any, really any last words before we wrap up? Maybe. Say bye to your friends. Ah, okay. Muito obrigada, gente, para participar e até mais no canal. Obrigada. Uh, obrigado a todo mundo que assistiu até o final. Parabéns aí aos que ganharam Vale Presente. Para quem não ganhou, a gente vai ter mais lives no futuro. Só acompanhar, comenta, deixa o seu like, segue o canal. Muito obrigado, gente. É isso, Thank até you a so much. Thank you. Bye so bye. Next Thank week, you so much. Uh, we'll go live on August 26th with our guest, Yong Alam. So we'll see you then. But in the meantime, Bye-bye. <laughs>